What's up guys? We're back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we're the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. I am your favorite manifestation coach and your favorite YouTuber. So if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me below. It's always in the description box. Yeah, I broke my freaking nail in half. Yeah, it hurt. I'm getting them fixed. Actually, I'm getting a whole new set. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to ignore that. Okay. Also, there is a sale. No code. It's already marked down. Okay. Okay. Um... I want to, since in the previous video I did the success stories for the robotic affirming, I thought it would really help since we're on that subject lately if I would explain why it works, how it works, you know, all that important stuff. My every video disclaimer, yeah, my dog is still in my room in my new house. She is in my new film room with me and she is snoring. No, it is not secret subliminals to make people like me. <laughs> That's probably the dumbest one I've heard yet, but uh, she's on my story pretty frequently because, you know, she gets walked every morning and I like to take videos of the dogs when we're walking them. And uh, yeah, there's no subliminals. It's just a fucking dog. So, I don't know. Find a new hobby. So, robotic affirmations. So many people, actually, I don't know. I know there are people that are opposed to it. They're like, no, you have to feel it real. They're like, no, sorry if my eyes are like, I can't stop sneezing. You can hear it in my voice. I have like the sniffles. I don't know. I think it's just simply because the weather in Florida is like 50, 80, 50, 80, 40, 70. You know what I mean? Like today it was like 80 and three days ago it was freaking 50. So I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever. Okay, back to the point. I know there are people that are opposed to robotic farming and that's fine. I, I don't give a shit how you manifest. We're just speaking on this subject because I literally just did a success story video about it proving that it works. Even for people who don't believe in it. That is the kicker right there. It worked for people who literally said, I didn't believe in affirming. I usually manifest with stats or feeling it real or visualization or whatever. And it still worked for me. So I wouldn't want to call it a fail proof system, but I will. I think it's fail proof because this is why your subconscious mind is a proof producing machine. Okay. That is what you can basically call it. It is a proof producing machine. Meaning, whatever you are consistently filling it with, it has to prove you to be true. It has to produce proof for you. So whatever you're constantly thinking, whether it's things that you want or things that you don't want, it has to produce the proof. So if you're constantly thinking about a pink elephant, it's going to produce pink elephants. Not necessarily a giant, real pink elephant in your living room, but I mean, hey, that's not impossible. I believe anything is possible. Careful with that one. But you're gonna see them on the internet. You might see them on a sticker. You might, you know what I mean? Your subconscious, it, its job is to produce proof. It, pro, it produces proof of what you're thinking. Whatever it thinks is true for you because it it believes whatever you tell it over and over again so if your affirmation is i'm so freaking rich and you just say that over and over and over and over and over and over i don't care how poor you are i don't care if you ain't seen a damn dollar in 10 years if you start saying that don't not believing it not feeling it i mean how are you supposed to if you're broke how are you supposed to feel rich you Nah, you really can't, right? It's not. Uh, this is where I used to get caught up with the whole manifesting thing. Even even with law of assumption teachers, it would be like feel it real, feel what it would feel like to be that person. I how I've never been that fucking person. Whatever it is I'm trying to manifest, I've never been that. I've never had that. How can you feel something you've never experienced, right? 
So whenever I first started, when I finally decided to just robotically affirm a thousand dollars a day to almost three years ago, you think I believe that shit? Hell no. I just kept saying it. And that is what manifested. And that is what led me down my journey of affirmations and stuff. So back to the point. You're, if you're saying, I'm so rich, 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 it is probably going to give you maybe an image. It, you, your subconscious knows exactly what you're implying. You're implying you got a lot of fucking money, right? That's what I'm so rich implies, period. For most people, that's what it implies. I'm so rich, I'm so rich, I am so rich, I am so rich, I'm so rich, I'm so rich. Your subconscious's job is to prove you, prove to you that that is a thing. Your subconscious's job is to prove that. It's to produce proof of what you are constantly thinking. So now, most likely, money is gonna start coming to you. Just, it can be random, it can be family members giving you money, like, hey, I wanna give you this for a late birthday, like like in the last success story. Um, or maybe an old job owes you a check, or, you find it or you win it or you have the urge to buy a lottery ticket or how it doesn't matter how but thing it's just gonna start coming to you in ways you never would have thought of most likely because you weren't in the state of someone who is rich but when you're saying it and 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 saying it your subconscious's job is to produce proof of what you're fucking saying, of what you're thinking over and over and over and over and over again. That's its job. So no matter what it is, no matter if your SP hasn't talked to you in 10 years, five months, one month, you got in a fight and broke up last week, it doesn't matter. If you start saying, refer to the last video, they miss me, they miss me, they miss me, they miss me, they're texting me, they're texting me, they're texting me, they're texting me, they're in love with 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 me. Whatever your affirmation is, I prefer to keep them short and sweet, but whatever, use up to three or four if you want to. Just enough that you can repeat it over and over seamlessly without overcomplicating it, without worrying about if it's implying the right thing, if it, if you feel the right way, if you see the right image. You know what you're implying, you're repeating it. Your subconscious's job is to produce that proof. It is to provide you proof that what you're thinking is true because it thinks it is true. It doesn't know it's not true. Which is why I tell you, your subconscious doesn't have eyes. So if you're looking, you're manifesting money and you're looking at a zero balance or you're manifesting an SP, but you're looking at a negative text message from them saying how they hate you, you don't tell that to this one. You don't tell him that. You're the little bestie up here. You don't tell him that. You be delusional. And you say, oh my God, he is so freaking obsessed with me. She is so obsessed with me. She will not stop texting me. And your subconscious is like, oh, okay. Whatever its little magic job is, it produces it back. So now it's going to have to produce that proof for you. So however that works, I don't know how that works. But all of a sudden, if you keep going, if you keep saying it, no matter what you're seeing, if you will keep saying it, your subconscious's job is to provide that proof. It's to produce that proof. Your reality must reflect that proof. So all of a sudden, SP, their mind's gonna change. Their feelings are gonna change. It doesn't matter how strong they felt about this yesterday. Today, they're going to feel differently all of a sudden, they're gonna feel differently, they're gonna think differently, they're gonna have the urge to text you and tell you these things that you're saying and do these things that you're saying they're doing because that's how it works. Your subconscious mind has to produce the proof and whatever needs to be done to do that will happen. Even Neville said if it takes 10,000 or 100,000, they will do it because they're simply acting out your inner world your inner conversations. And for me, inner conversations is whatever I'm repeating in my head. Just test it. I say this about everything, anything that I talk about. I can tell you all day long how it works, why it works, and who it's worked for, but you need to test it and see. Pick an affirmation, just like the challenge, if you didn't do the challenge. If you did do the challenge, I really wanna hear in the comments what did you manifest? If you're not someone who was in the group or posted it in the group, I wanna hear what you manifested in the comments by robotically affirming. And if you didn't do the challenge, I want you to pick an affirmation about whatever desire you want and I want you to just repeat it. 
Just repeat it. I don't want you to worry about feeling it, seeing it, nothing. I just want you to repeat it. Your subconscious's job is to provide you proof. It is to produce proof of what you are consistently thinking. Okay? That is what it, that's its job. That's what it does. Your reality is a reflection of what your subconscious is supposed to be producing proof of. That's it. That's what your reality is. So if you're not seeing what you want, if you're not experiencing the, rea the reality that you want, the money that you want, the job that you want, the exam has not been passed, if your SP is not doing what you need them to do or want them to do, pick an affirmation and robotically affirm that shit and just see what changes. In the last video, someone literally said they had done every technique and until they just decided to robotically affirm, that is when, when they decided to robotically affirm, that is when their person contacted them. Things that you literally feel so resistant to, so far from, you even feel like they won't happen. If you will just keep saying it anyway, this 90% of the problem with a lot of you and why you don't get what you want, because you quit. Because you see something you don't like, you, you've started your affirming process, right? And you see something you don't like and then you go, it didn't work. Why, why would you do that? When had you just kept affirming, that scenario, that situation that you didn't like would have switched. It would have turned around. Your manifestation was gonna happen. You, and you can, and if you have done that, you can get back to affirming. It's okay. You didn't mess it up, you didn't stop it. But don't quit. When you quit, that's when you stop it. So even though you see something you don't like, keep affirming anyway. It's going to manifest. It doesn't have a choice. Your subconscious, that's its only job. Literally. It is there to produce proof of what your dominant thoughts are. Whatever you're consistently thinking all the time about whatever subject. Anything you want to change. Any single thing in the world. Anything you want to change. All you have to do is create a little affirmation for it and repeat it over and over and over and over and don't stop repeating it until it fully manifests. Don't quit until it manifests. I don't care. I don't care. Don't quit until it manifests. Okay? That is today's lesson. Your subconscious is a proof producing machine. Whatever you are feeding it, it must produce proof for you that that is the way it is. That's its job. Test it and see. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.